Hi, I'm Amy Helm, and you're watching 1019 Kink Radio in the Skype Live studio. Amy, so good to see you. We were such a huge fan at Kink of your father's music, Lee Von Helm. And I'm just curious if you could explain his influence on this album. And the tenor of the album, I understand, was really influenced by his passing as well. Um, yes. Well, he, uh, my dad was very much a part of this album in that he... Um, he wanted to see me do this for a long time before I really decided that I was going to make a record on my own. Um, he was very encouraging and and uh, pushing me in that direction. So when I started to make the steps towards doing it, he was certainly uh, very proud and very supportive in every way. Uh, he played on the record. He helped pay for me to make the record. Wow. He he was just very much um, very present for the entire thing and. Uh, I did make the album. I began the record before he passed and finished it afterwards. So of course that um, that experience and that kind of cycle in my own life influenced the songs and and uh, a feeling of people really coming together, other musicians, the the guys up here with me now, people coming together and helping me kind of push it up and get it to the top and and finish it and get it over the hill, so to speak. So. Phenomenal voice yeah. and your musicality yes. and growing up in a family, your stepdad also, if you just wouldn't mind talking about your stepdad, who he is and his influence on you as well. Uh, well, my stepdad is Donald Fagan of Steely Dan. <laughs> just as, just like a and slight musical genetic history here <laughs> and then also yes. societal around you. I, I'm just shocked that it took you this long to be out in front. So what was going on there? Well, you know, I spent uh, I spent a long time in two, mainly in two different bands, one called Olabel, and I was in that band for about 10 years, and then I was in my dad's band, the Midnight Ramble Band, for about 10 years, and yeah, thanks. And, um, you know, both of those bands were very uh, hugely enriching for me and, and certainly taught me a lot about uh, music and made me a lot stronger and made me you know, grow every gig was another master class yeah. in a sense. So I, I was very um, compelled and captivated with those two groups and, and learning a lot and then did it when it felt the time was cool. right. Cool. Now that she has her PhD, she can be on her own tonight at Alberta Rose. <laughs> so please go support her tonight. Very quickly, how do we get a ticket to the Midnight Ramble? You can come no, to... No, that's a joke. <laughs> you don't allow people into the Midnight Ramble, do you? Oh, yes. Do you really? Yes. I thought it was just a Nobody's musician. There's three ways I to get a ticket. I thought it was a musician thing only. No, no. No, Whoa. we're doing lots of shows there. We just had Richard Thompson. Uh, the Wood Brothers are there tonight, I think, or tomorrow. Um, we have Ruthie Foster coming in the fall. We have a lot of amazing musicians coming and, and playing their own Midnight Ramble and really letting it become a venue now, and you can get tickets on the telephone, the old-fashioned way, if you're like me. You can go online, or you can drive to Woodstock and drive up to the ticket booth <laughs> and buy it right there. Oh, I love kicking it old style. <laughs> Let's hear it again. More music from Amy Helm. <laughs> 